was this find the boolean functions that are that the following uh, this one represents so there are various ways we could represent the boolean functions one way to represent it is using venn diagram so i'll just tell you how the venn diagram works and then we shall solve that question first let's see the venn diagram right assume that we have three boolean variables then we can write the boolean functions like this so generally it is not scalable in the sense if you have more than three boolean variables if you have four five uh, this method really is uh, restricting the scale i mean it is difficult to write them so we generally don't use them but then it is it has i have seen some questions related to this therefore i'm doing it but in in at practice we really don't use it it is just to understand the concept that it could be used but we are not using it really at practice theoretically to some extent it is used so see this now if i have three variables i could represent them in the venn diagram like this say this is a b and c right then let's see what each area specifies so each area which which means if this is the total venn diagram if you know outside everything means here at this point nothing is present no a no b no c therefore what can you say about it a prime b prime c prime right and what about this one a is present but b and c not, are not present so remember one thing in order to represent the complementation sometimes i use like this a prime or sometimes i use like this both are same don't get confused okay now coming to this point if you look at it a is present but b and c are not present in this one right therefore you can represent it as a b prime c prime and coming to this area b is present but a and uh, b in this one b is present but a and c are not present therefore a prime b is present c is not present c prime coming to this area c is present but a and b are not present therefore how can you represent a prime b prime c right and you know looking at these areas this one here uh, only this one this part which means this one right if you look at this one only b and c are present but a is not present therefore how can you represent it a prime b c and if you watch this only a and b are present but c is not present therefore a and b are present c is not present if you watch this one only a and c are present but b is not present therefore only a and c are present b is not present isn't it now if you look at this everything is present so this is nothing but a b c now see the number of uh, uh, you know min terms we got here the number of min terms we we get here is watch it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 therefore if i have three variables the number of input combinations is 8 the number of different min terms we have i should not say no yes the number of min terms we have is you know 2 power 3 which means 8 so 8 possibilities are there fine now uh, we not represent a function function is nothing but uh, the collection of min terms i mean one way of representing the function is you collect the min terms for which the function gives you one isn't it therefore one way of representing a function is you shade in the areas where the function takes a value 1 and you leave the areas where the function does not take any value for example in this one check this he is shading the area in which the function is taking you know a these two areas are shaded now they are asking what is the uh, term that this one is representing if you watch this one this entire a is included in the function therefore a should be included plus so why is completely a is included and why you cannot take you know see you could have even taken it like this right a prime a prime sorry a b prime c prime and what about this one this is a b c prime and what about this part c this contains in itself three parts i think four parts c this part represents a b prime c prime and this part represents a c a b prime c and this part in middle part represents a b c and this part represents a this part i'm talking about only this part i mean inside this right 
a is present b is present c is not present right now if you combine these two what i get is ab and if i combine these two what i get is ab prime you know how to combine them i'm just pulling out ab prime as common then what is remaining c and c prime and if i pull out ab as common what is remaining c and c prime therefore here it is ab and it is ab prime now if i combine these two then what i get is a only right therefore representing it using four terms is as good as representing using one term a so later we shall see various ways to minimize it here i minimize it using the formula that I, i already know it right so what is that i am pulling out ab and then i know that c plus c prime is 1 using that formula i minimized it later we shall see various methods but then the advantage of venn diagram is it is clearly showing you that they all of them four all the four put together will make up a therefore this entire part could be represented by just a and what is remaining if you see it only this part is remaining right only this part is remaining what is this part in which b and c are present but a is not present which is nothing but a prime b c so the remaining part is nothing but a prime b c right so now it could be written as a plus a prime b c so what is the answer c this is not the answer because they are saying that a plus a prime b prime c which means they are including c this one they are saying that it is a plus this it is wrong so this one got it so if you could directly minimize it it is fine or you could if you could guess it from this it is fine or you could use the formulas later we shall see various methods using which we could uh, minimize it right as of now my intention is not in minimizing i'm just trying to explain you how the functions are represented got it so now we have already seen that there are eight eight areas in this venn diagram right and every function is nothing but uh, some particular area or some combinations of areas being shaded then how many functions are possible if we have n variables how many functions are possible we have already seen it so what is it 2 power 2 power n why 2 power n rows are possible and every row can take two values therefore 2 power 2 power n functions are possible so there must be 2 power 2 power n ways in which we could shade this venn diagram so if the question is how many ways can you shade this venn diagram how many these many 2 power 2 power n ways we could shade this because each one is representing a function and there are these many unique functions therefore there must be these many shadings possible right so just for the you know sake of example uh, ex explain me this what is the function that is represented by for example i want to represent the function like this i am going to shade this completely the outside part tell me the function represented by this kind of shading i am shading the entire outside part it is completely shaded outside part is completely shaded and now i'll shade the insides only this part and i'll shade this part and i'll shade this part and i'll shade this inside part and i'll leave out only this one this one and this one right then what is the mean what is the function represented by this uh, kind of shading is you know you can see it so directly you could say the outside part is shaded therefore the function can be represented as a prime b prime c prime plus this part is shaded therefore a prime b prime c plus this part is shaded therefore a b c plus this part is shaded a prime b c prime plus this part is shaded a b prime c prime so we got five min terms only three are remaining i am not worried about minimizing so in case if you minimize you might get a minimized function or i don't know we can see it later but here what i what i'm interested is what is this one representing sometimes you know instead of giving such a diagram the meaningful one they might give you some meaningless diagrams also like this so in case if they give you like this, what what they want to test is whether you really understood this concept or not so in case they are saying that a variable a is there and inside that variable b and c are present it is completely meaningless but still let's see how what it really means and now they have they are shading this so what does it mean this shading is equal to 
A is present, B is present as well as C is present at the intersection of all these three, right? So then what is the function represented by this? The function represented is A, B, C, right? Or, or they could give you some other diagram like this. This could be A, this could be B and this could be C. If they shared these two parts, then what is the function represented by this? Even though they are not capable of generating all possible functions, the reason is they are not they are not you know drawn in such a way that all possible functions can be derived. If they are drawn in this way, all possible functions can be derived, 2 power 2 power n. But if, they, if you draw it in this way, some of the functions will never be possible, right? Because you know always whenever a is present, b is present or c is present, a is always present, which is nothing but every term will contain a. Right? And what about the terms which does not contain a prime, I mean which does not contain a, which means what about the terms, mean terms which contains a prime, you cannot get them there. Right? Hmm. Now what about this, the function represented by this is a, b, c prime plus this one is a prime, b, c. This is the combination. Right? So this one represents this and this one is representing this. But then here if you see it, there is no term a, b, c. There is no intersection between all these three. So their intention is not representing all the functions. They just wanted to test whether you understood this concept or not. So this is how you can represent using Venn diagram the functions. Okay.